hello, this is Professor Urbis White. We are going to learn about slope-intercept form of a line. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing. Slope-intercept form of a line. Y equals mx plus b. This is a fairly easy concept for most students. m is the slope. B is the y-intercept. Okay, let's do general form. Let's say B is here. And slope is M. M is M over 1. And let's say it's a positive slope. You start from here, you go up M step and over 1. And you draw. Oops, let's do it like that. This is my slope m to 1. So I use the y-intercept and I use the slope to draw it. But it is kind of interesting to find out. Let's do a problem. y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, I can look at my equation. Since it's in the slope-intercept form, I can write down m is 2 and b is negative 3. Well, let's put that on the graph. Negative 3 is 1, 2, 3 right here. m is 2. Put always a 1 underneath so that you can draw. So you start with the y-intercept. Go up 2 over 1. Draw. Okay? So here's your slope-intercept form. Okay, let's do it without um, the formula. When I see it, I look at it, put the formula underneath so you can match m equals 2, b equals 1. Start with the scale, put the y-intercept, put the 1 under the slope, if you don't have anything underneath, 2 to 1. You start with y-intercept, go up, 1, 2, right, 1, put an imaginary point, draw. So positive y-intercept, positive slope. Negative y-intercept, negative slope. Okay, now let's go negative 1. Let's match the letters and numbers. M equals negative two-thirds. B equals negative one. No problem. Here's one, two. Here's one, two. Here's one, two. I start with the y-intercept, negative one. Let's look at that. When you have a negative, here's a trick. Put the negative on top positive at the bottom. You know that negative 2 over positive 3 is the same as negative 2 over 3. Or you can even do this, 2 over negative 3. Either way, I'm going to do both ways. Okay, I'm going to do this one first, and then I'm going to do the other one with another color. Negative 2 over 3, watch, you start with that. Negative 2 means you go down, 1, 2. 3 means to the right, 1, 2, 3. I'll do the same thing with a different color. Positive 2, negative 3. You start with the same intercept. Positive 2 means up 2, 1, 2. Negative 3 means left. 1, 2, 3. Oops, let's do it again. 1, 2. This one is not very good. Let me try again. This one is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it is a little bit flatter. Because it makes a difference, huh? Because my dots are so big. All right? And then this one is positive 2, negative 3. Positive 2, 1, 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Do you see it? So the red one is a better one. So you have to be careful, you know, if your dots are too big, it's going to give you something screwball. All right. Ignore the blue. Um, 
it doesn't matter if you put the negative on top, positive at the bottom, or positive on top, negative at the bottom. You're going to get the same slope. Just be careful about how thick your dots are. Okay, y equals negative 1, slope-intercept form. Oh, that's a little tricky. y equals mx plus b. Guess what? There's no x. So that means this is 0 times x plus negative 1. That's 0 slope. What's that mean? Negative 1, y-intercept. Here's 1, 2. Here's negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, y-intercept, slope of 0. What does that mean? It's a flat line. Very good. And remember, we had talked about y equals a number being a horizontal line anyways. So you know that already. Okay. The next question might be, they are giving you um, an equation in the standard form. And they are asking, it, asking you to put it in the slope-intercept form. Not a problem. Remember, slope-intercept form looks like this. In other words... It's going to have y on one side, and then x is on the other side. So I need to move things around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 2x. That gives you negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 1. These two will go. Now, y is not by itself still. Divide everything by negative 3. And split these two. You're going to end up with negative 2, negative 3. So that's 2 thirds plus negative one-third, which is the same as two-thirds minus one-third. Remember, plus minus was negative. So I'll start with the y-intercept. Here's my m. Here's my b. m is two-thirds, and b is negative one-third. Okay, let's do it. Here's one, two. I'll start with negative one-third, negative one, negative two. Negative one-third is around here. Again, be careful. That little dot in there, it has a slope of two over three. You start with that, and you have to go two steps up. These steps have to be the same size. One, two steps up. I'm here. Three steps to the right. One, two, three. Do you see that? right here, then you have those two points that you can connect. Don't make those dots too big so that they're right. And this is the picture of this. So what did I do? I put it in slope-intercept form first by isolating y, and then I just plot it. Okay. Or you can actually be asked to do this with words. A line with y-intercept of 3 and a slope of negative 4. Let's draw it first, and then we'll put down the equation. y-intercept of 3, here it is, and slope of negative 4. Slope of negative 4 means you're going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 over, and now you draw. Here's the picture of it. What will be the equation? Y equals M negative 4 and B 3. Here's the description, and here's the graph, and here's the equation. So that, that is actually the end of our section um, about drawing and manipulating equations that are in the slope-intercept form.